welcome to pajama story time. Guess who I have here with me? Oh, she's giving me lots of snuggles. It's Miss Elise. Elise, are you gonna turn around? Are you gonna turn around so everyone can see you? Right now you can see her adorable new pajamas. Can you see what animal is on her pajamas? Can you see it? If you know what it is, say it out loud really loud. Are they sheep or lambs? Yeah, super cute. Awesome. What kind of PJs are you guys wearing? My PJs have, or my robe has cats on it. What do you think about that, Elise? Oh, I don't know if she's very happy about that, guys. <laughs> All right, we are going to start with a rhyme. So get your fingers going. You wanna get your paws going? Get your paws going? We're gonna open, shut them. Here we go. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Lay them in your lap, lap, lap. Thanks. Creep and crawl them, creep and crawl them. Right up to your chinny, chin, chin. Circle around your little mouth, but do not let them in. Do not let them in. <laughs> Good job. Oh my goodness, Elise just wants to snuggle and get pets tonight. Oh, what a good girl. We are going to read our first story, which is all about a type of polar animal. Penguins. Do you like penguins, Elise? It's called Little Penguin Stays Awake. All right, I'm gonna come get closer so you can see all of the pictures in our story. All right, Little Penguin Stays Awake. Oh, hello. I don't suppose you've seen any shooting stars this evening. I have a very important wish. And I need a shooting star to make it come true. You see, we penguins are very good at swimming and waddling and eating chili. But there's one thing we can't do, fly. I've always dreamed of spreading my flippers and flying with my friends. If I wish on a shooting star, my dream has to come true. There's just one problem. Penguins have very early bedtimes and shooting stars don't come out until late at night. I've never stayed up this late before and I'm not sure I can do it. Kenneth and Franklin have tried all sorts of things to keep me awake, but nothing has worked. So now, maybe you can help. If you see me fall asleep, shout, wake up little penguin. Okay, let's practice that. Let's say, wake up little penguin. Nice. Now, you can't go to sleep without closing your eyes, so I've decided I'm not going to close mine. Not even to blink or anything. Ready? Look at those wide eyes. Are your eyes open wide? Elise's eyes are open wide. Okay, open your eyes wide. Wider, wider. Don't blink. All right, what happens when the penguin falls asleep? What should we say? Wake up, little penguin. Hmm, maybe a little exercise will do the trick. Let's try some stretches. Stretch your flippers up high. Can you stretch up high? Stretch them to the side. Stretch far, down, low. Uh-oh, he fell asleep again, you guys. What should we say? Wake up, little penguin. Oh, the shooting stars are still nowhere in sight and I don't think I can stay awake much longer. What should we try next? Maybe jumping jacks will wake me up. One jumping jack, two jumping jacks, three jumping 
Jax. Uh-oh. He fell asleep again. What should we say to wake him up? Wake up, little penguin. Oh, oh my goodness. Look at all those stars. Woo. Franklin and Kenneth snores woke up little penguin just in time. Kenneth, Franklin, the stars, they're here. I made it. Oh, thank you ever so much. Now I can finally, finally make my wish. The end. All right, that was Little Penguin Stays Awake by Ted Bentley. All right, let's see. We're gonna come back over here. Alisa, are you gonna come back too? Come back and see us. Hello, hello. Oh, and her cute Jamie Jams again. Let's see, is there snow outside right now? What do you think, Elise? Is there lots of snow out? Oh yeah, tons and tons of snow. Let's pretend our fingers are snowflakes. Can we make snowflakes? Let's reach up high. We have our snowflakes coming, falling, falling down. Can you have your snowflakes swirl round and round? Round and round and round? Round and round. Good job, Elise is making snowflakes with her paws. All right, let's wave them up high, wave them down low, side to side. Let's see, let's have snowflakes falling on our heads, on our heads. How about on our nose? How about on our toes? Snowflakes on Elisa's toes. Good job. All right, I think we're ready to settle in for our last story. It's called, If It's Snowy and You Know It, Clap Your Paws. This one's perfect for Elise. Are you going to clap your paws for us? <laughs> All right, I'm going to come closer so you can see the illustrations again and get ready to do some clapping and some other motions too. All right, here we go. Are you ready, Elise? Get ready to clap your paws. If It's Snowy and You Know It, Clap Your Paws by Kim Norman and illustrated by Liza Woodruff. If it's snowy and you know it, clap your paws. You can tumble on the tundra just because. If it's snowy and you know it, roll a snowball up and throw it. If it's snowy and you know it, clap your paws. Can you practice throwing a snowball too? If your fur is full of flurries, taste a flake. Skate around and make some angels on a lake. If your fur is full of flurries, you'll forget your winter worries. If your fur is full of flurries, taste a flake. Okay, that means you have to stick your tongue out and try and taste a snowflake. If the skies are crisp and clear and grab your skis, give your tiny friends a ride behind your knees. If the skis, oh, if the skies are crisp and clear and let a walrus do the steering. If the skies are crisp and clear and grab your skis. What do you think? Do you want to go sl sledding or skiing with a walrus? Hmm, you might end up crashing. If it's shimmery and sunny, sculpt a friend. If he topples, it's an easy job to mend. If it's shimmery and sunny, borrow glasses from the bunny. If it's shimmery and sunny, sculpt a friend. Look at, they're making snow friends. If it's frosty and you're freezing, build a fort. Leaving room for all your bodies, tall or short. If it's frosty and you're freezing, add some curtains that are pleasing. If it's frosty and you're freezing, build a fort. Ooh, that looks like a fun fort. I wonder if Elise would like to come hang out in a fort like this with us. If it's drafty and you're drifting, give a roar. Get some help from white belugas off the shore. If it's drafty and you're drifting, hail a whale for heavy lifting. If it's drafty and you're drifting, give a roar. Roar! If at last you're finally landing, blow a kiss. Mwah! Make a promise that you'll write to friends you'll miss. 
If at last you're finally landing, leave the float that you've been commanding. If at last you're finally landing, blow a kiss. Mwah. If it's starry and you're starving, share a meal. There's enough for all from caribou to seal. If it's starry and you're starving, add a sparkly iceberg carving. If it's starry and you're starving, share a meal. Oh, look at all those friends gathered around. Hmm, I see a polar bear, moose. Hmm, who else do you see? A rabbit or hare? Some other friends too. If it's Arctic and you're aching, soak your toes. Hold a steamy cup of cocoa to your nose. If it's Arctic and you're aching, give your paws a gentle baking. If it's Arctic and you're aching, soak your toes. Ooh, gotta warm up somehow. Hot cocoa sounds like a perfect way. If it's wintry and you're weary, go inside. Paint a picture of the icy sports you tried. If it's wintry and you're weary, read a book that's warm and cheery. If it's wintry and you're weary, go inside. If it's sleeting and you're sleepy, climb in bed. Tuck your tails and paws and fins beneath the spread. If it's sleeting and you're sleepy, snuggle up with something sheepy. There's a world of wild adventures in your head. Ooh, look at all those fun winter adventures. Nice. What winter adventures have you been on so far? Maybe you can dream about them tonight before bedtime. All right. It is time to say goodbye for PJ story time. Let's see if Miss Elise will come back and give us another sneak peek of her PJs. Hi, Elise, come say goodbye. Oh no, she's getting awfully sleepy. I think she's ready for bedtime too. Hi, sweetie. Thanks so much for tuning in with us. We'll be back in February. Miss Elise will be here too, and we'll have a special Valentine's Day PJ story time. Bye, friends. See you next time.